are getting ready as well they should for one of the most powerful storms they've seen. Details about its path and strength just ahead. Hello and welcome to this edition of Weather Split Center, sponsored by 1010220. I'm Bob Child. And I'm Bob Stokes. Thanks for joining us. And now during this update, we will also tell you what's going on in the rest of the country. But first, let's focus on Hurricane Floyd. Here are the latest statistics. It is a major hurricane, a Category 4, in fact, at the very top of that scale, of the Category 4 scale, just on the verge of becoming a Category 5, even if the strength increases by one mile an hour. It's now at 155 miles per hour, which centers at uh, 525 miles southeast of Palm Beach, Florida. Those, those uh, latitude longitudes uh, center at uh, the 24.1 north and 72.1 west. It's moving toward the west at 14 miles per hour and the pressure is incredibly low at 27.20 inches uh, on the barometer. Now, let's go to Dr. Steve Lyons, our hurricane expert for the very latest on the analysis of Hurricane Floyd. Steve. Thanks, Bob. We continue to monitor. It's right now moving west, just ever so slightly north of west, almost stair-stepping northwest. And you can see that in our infrared satellite imagery here over the last 24 hours. You'll see it stair-step up just a little bit and then up again but still heading a lot more west than it is north and that's of much concern obviously to Florida as it continues to get closer and closer to the coast we still are forecasting a track to the north but it's going to run out of room relative to whether or not watches and warnings are going to have to be put up obviously the watches have already been put up and warnings may have to be put up along the Florida coastline before all is said and done now the speed of motion is just checking with Dr. Forbes, our severe weather expert, and he and I both agree it's definitely starting to accelerate the last few hours toward the north, uh, toward the west northwest. So it is speeding up a little bit, and that's going to give people a little less time to prepare if it does keep going toward the coast. Now the hurricane warnings are up all over the central and northern Bahamas, and also hurricane watches are up from Brunswick, Georgia, to Florida City, Florida. That includes Dade County. Now Dade County and and uh, also up in Brunswick. This doesn't necessarily indicate that we're anticipating a landfall, but it we are anticipating that hurricane force winds could potentially scrape the coast and affect you. Still some tropical storm warnings up for the Turks and Caicos Islands as well. Now here's the big player here, this big trough of low pressure. You can see it spiraling around in here. The low center's right there. And here's our hurricane down to the southeast. You can see the plumes of high clouds spinning around there. And you can see that we're anticipating that it's going to get caught up in this. It's not going to turn back to the northeast with it because the low-level flow is out of the west. We're going to look to see when that turn is actually going to take place. And you can already see the high clouds starting to elongate toward the north. So the upper-level flow is being influenced by this southwesterly flow aloft. But now keep in mind, it's heading in the general direction of the Carolinas as well. So you up to the north need to be paying special attention to what happens to the hurricane as it goes on. Now the immediate concern is the Bahamas, San Salvador Island, Cat Island, Eleuthera, uh, Ure Eleuthera Island, and Abaco Island all uh, under the gun as the hurricane eye comes generally towards you. And storm surge as high as 20 to 25 feet could occur on some local areas of the islands that are directly hit. So storm surge is a big potential concern. Now we'll keep you informed on Floyd for the next 24 hours or until it makes landfall, we'll continue to go with it. Now here's Bob. Okay, hurricane expert Dr. Steve Lyons. The West will tell you about in a moment. Good evening, I'm Terry Smith. And I'm Dave Schwartz. Obviously the biggest weather story in the United States is not even in the United States, but it will, or part of it will be. Hurricane Floyd, let's have a look at it. Satellite picture, it's the, it's the element to the left with the hole in the middle. <laughs> That's the eye of Hurricane Floyd. This is what's been uh, on our minds now for days and certainly on the minds of our friends here along the southeast coast of the United States to say nothing of Bahamians who will encounter the wrath of this hurricane first tonight, as a matter of fact, and tomorrow. Notice the eye continuing to move west, very ominous, as it gets closer to Florida. This is the track of, of Hurricane Floyd. It was a tropical depression, the yellow dots, became a tropical storm and then named Tropical Storm Floyd, the orange dots. Then it gains hurricane force winds, 74 miles per hour. Now look at them. 155, a hurricane continuing to move just to the north of west. 
right through the central and northern Bahamas. That's why a hurricane warning is in effect. A hurricane warning, by the way, is an advisory for people in the affected area that hurricane conditions, seas, flooding, tremendous rains, hurricane force winds are due in in the next 24 hours. Well, that's a given. That's almost yesterday's news here in, in the central Bahamas. It's going to be very rough late tonight and tomorrow morning into Nassau, the Bahamas. 155 mile per hour winds with higher gusts. Then check us out here in the mainland. From Florida City, the south end of Dade County, right up through Miami, Miami Beach, Hallandale, Fort Lauderdale, up to Palm Beach, and then right on up to Fernandina Beach. The entire coast of Florida, except the Keys, the east coast at least, hurricane force expected by this time tomorrow night, between now and tomorrow night. Warning, 24 hours. Watch, up to 36 hours. Georgia coast, South Carolina coast. The question is now, where exactly will the eye wall with those tremendous winds hit? That's a big question. It's a very big question that is very difficult to answer right now. But these are the elements. Notice this dark slot right here and then shooting right up into Canada. That defines a trough of low pressure. And you can see the spinning around in here. That's spinning. That's a trough of low pressure. Same thing's happening here with the hurricane at low levels of the atmosphere. Notice at the upper levels, the exhaust high pressure classic. But this is a cold core low right here. And these winds are heading this way. Then southwesterly. We believe that the hurricane will begin to turn toward the northwest tomorrow, late tomorrow, and into Wednesday. Will it be soon enough to keep the eye wall away from Florida? Will the turn occur here? Will the turn occur here? And then we've got to watch it here in the Carolinas. Will the turn occur here? That's the big question. That's why hurricane warnings are in effect for the entire coast of Florida, all the way down to Dade County right now. Keep a close eye on that one. And here's the front. This is the 